Hello. 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 Hi. <laughs> I hate this. I want a drink. So. Oh. This now. Sippy, sippy. Pissy, pissy. Why is my arm sticky? Sticky. <gasps> my arm is sticky. Gross. Hello, welcome back to my channel. Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I'm with Taylor again. <laughs> again. And what's new? And um we're just gonna do a mukbang slash like not really QA, but just like talk about life type. Talk type about thing. like what our Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just gonna do like a little um it's kinda like get to know me, but it's also not like it's a little little twist, little pizzazz. You know? I'm sorry about the fan, but we have to keep it on because this has no insulation here. Insulation. There's no insulation. Insulation. Has no um But you can hear. I got a mini burrito, a mini chicken burrito. We actually got Guzman's. It says Guzman's Guzman and Gomez. Guzman Guzman. Yeah, Guzman. Guzman E. Just called Guzman. Guzman, yeah. Guzman E. Guzman and Gomez. I don't know. Isn't it and? Yeah. But like people Where say get e? e from. I don't know. Lots of people say E. Wow, You're not guys. even in the frame. I know because I'm eating. Well, move in. Oh, I'm coming. Move No. That's not going to sit well with me. Um. <laughs> okay, should we just do like a rundown of like why we're friends? It's like, we're going to ask that question oh. every day. <laughs> so, oh, beach. So Taylor and I, um, sorry, met at oh. school in like year eight. Well, we, mm. we didn't become friends until like Not 2017. Really. Mm. It's 2019, by the way. Oh my god. <gasps> it's January 1st. Anyway. Tuesday. Yeah. So happy New Year, everyone. Yeah. I hope you guys all had a really good New Year. Cause I did. But I had no friends. Like literally had zero. Mm -hmm. I lost everyone because like everyone was an asshole to me. So I just went. Ivy was like, you can come sit with us, and I was like, yeah. I remember that. I was like, we're in English, and you were like, talking to me. You went in English. We're in aquatic. Sorry, okay, we're in aquatic. Shout out to Miss. Oh and no. Oh bless. And um. <laughs> yeah. So we're in aquatic, and like I remember her like complaining about how she didn't have friends. What's new? And um. <laughs> um. My food and leave. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, come sit with us, you know? Mm -hmm. she, she did. Um, yeah, we've just been friends ever since, right? Yeah. We weren't that close at first, but then... Yeah, like, at the start of last year, like, in our... In year 12, like, we got really close, because mm. we, we hung out mm. all the fucking time. Which was weird, because we never hung out. No. And then one day, we just, I don't even remember the first time we hung out. I was also about to ask, like, do you even remember? No. I'm trying to say... Um, yeah, anyway, so we became friends because we both, like, kind of just complained that we didn't have friends. So, we are... And we realised that we had a lot in common. I wrote down some topics that I thought would be pretty interesting, like, for conversation. So, the first one I wrote was, do we believe in spirit... I can't say that word. Spirituality. Spirituality. Like... Do we believe in spirituality? Um, who helped us believe in it and why we believe in particular parts of whatever we believe in? So you go first. I don't even know where to start. So, do you believe in spirituality? Yeah. Well, I'm really like, I believe in like the universe and what you put out into the universe will come back to you. Like, and I, I strongly believe in everything happens for a reason. Same. Like, Everything. Like, no matter what. <laughs> Everything. Everything. <laughs> no. But do you like follow astrology and stuff? Not really. Not as much as I'd like to. I think that's what I want to do this year. Mm. Because, like, I like... I, like, read into it more. Yeah, like, I want to start, like, reading, like, horoscopes and, mm. you know, all that shit. Yeah. That's, like, the sort of thing. Because like, I, don't, I, I don't feel like in school and stuff it was, like, a lot harder. Huh? But... You feel? Mm. I'm like, a, I think, um, like, I don't, like, I believe in fate a lot. Yeah. Like, when stuff happens to me and I'm like, and, like, and I, oh, what, when what I say, like, when I say stuff to people, I'm like, oh, do you reckon it was a coincidence or do you think, like, it's, like, supposed to happen? Most people say coincidence. 
mm -hmm. and it just like it kind of just I think no but think about it like what if that thing happened like if it didn't happen where would you be now exactly mm. I think also like oh I, I got more into it with the people we hung out with mm. and you like because exactly. you had like same. the same vibes as me but same. like I don't know, I like all the crystals, and like I believe in crystal healing, and like a lot, like that's what I want to get into more this year, like I have a lot of books that I haven't read yet, but like, I really believe in all of that. Yeah. No, I'm like, okay, so I believe in like fate a lot, and I also believe in everything happens for a reason as well, and I also, like I don't follow astrology, but like I like reading horoscopes, because like, I, I feel like they do, like represent a lot about, I, or no, it's like nice like, to know like planets. Like affect yeah, your, and I also do. I also yeah, do. Yeah. No, I don't. I don't follow yeah. the whole retrograde thing. Retrograde. I want to. I don't. I, I don't really get it. I'm not. I don't understand. But um, it is interesting. And like, it'd be cool if I did understand it. But yeah. Um, I also think that like I also believe like if you're a good person and you do something, um, like you know, just to, like out in the public or like you're doing something for another person or whatever, I I believe that you'll get something in return and it may not be immediately or it could be immediately mm -hmm. but like I do believe that like if we do something stuff, good yeah yeah I do believe that stuff um happens to people <laughs> the next one I chose was do we believe in love at first sight or soulmates what is our personal experience with feeling love I believe your soulmate doesn't have to be like a person, a person that you're in a relationship with though mm. explain that like, I don't know, like, I've met, like, lots of people, but, like, there's, I don't know, I, I feel like you can have a couple, mm. which is weird to say. You mean at once? Like, yeah, no, like, you can have more than one soulmate that, like, you, you, know. you stay with your whole life. Like, you You're know, like, you know your whole life. Really? Yeah. Mm. yeah. I don't. You don't? No. I think you have one soulmate and it's never, they never change. It's like, it's like, for me, it'd be, like, something really sentimental, like a dog. I feel like something like that is like yeah. your soulmate. I feel like, well, I feel like you can get like human versions, obviously. Like, I feel like you can have a, a bond with someone. It's like you find a bond yeah. with someone, but it, like, even if you had someone else who was similar, it's just not the same. I feel like that is like considered a soulmate to me. Yeah. I think someone who, like, if they leave your life, nothing will be the same. Like, that. I think I've met my soulmate already, but like, like I believe that you can have. The best friend, and then someone you're in a relationship with, and even if you're, like, you're not in a relationship with now, you will be like later on. But what about like personal experience with feeling love? Like it doesn't have to be in love. It's just like feeling somebody else love you. <laughs> that was a taste, is. <laughs> I don't know. Well, yeah, I've been in love. But okay. I feel like, but like, how? Huh? Okay. But I feel like, I mean, I still am. But are you? <laughs> it's like that long. Do you really think so? Yeah. But I feel like people who are older than but us, you are like you don't know what love is, like yeah, you're but too young. Up. But I feel like you know if you know, you know. Because <laughs> my definition of love, love is like you can't get enough of the person. You can't like you always want to be around you, you them. You just see like, the best of them. Yeah. Like, no matter what, like yeah. you, like it doesn't matter what they do. Like you just. But you can that can be easily like. Yeah, you know, confused or easily. But I don't know. I feel like I've had Probably. a good experience. So you feel like, so have you truly felt somebody else's love? Is that what you? Yeah. Know? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't think so. You don't? No. Not even like family. Oh yeah, like yeah, yeah. I I do like my dad especially. Yeah. Like I I feel like family's love, but I mean intimate. Not really. Oh okay. Well yeah. I know people care, but I don't feel like I love you. I mean, we're not intimate, so that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> but like, yeah, I know people care about me, but I just don't feel the love. Like you don't. You know how like you, you don't have that intimate, intimate love? love with like a, a man. Wow, that's a good iced tea. But yeah, no, I, I definitely don't think I felt another like man's love. Like, a, but I've definitely, like, I definitely, I mm definitely, -hmm. I can feel and receive love from like family members and like siblings. What about like best friends? Yeah, like no, but like a male best friend. I don't think it, oh, there was one guy. Yes, yes. This, this guy in primary school, like helped me through like a relationship that I was in. <laughs> <laughs> primary. And like yeah, but he was he cared about me 
so much and I was yeah. so blindsided like and that's the shit that I'll never forget but no okay. but I have that now like I, I feel like I have like a male best friend who really cares about me more than he probably should mm. um the next question that I kind of put together myself was how did we become friends was it good timing for us or not and what each other has changed what each of uh, each like what we have changed about each other about our lives and maybe what do we think we'd our lives would be like if we had become friends when we had it become friends when we did um so yeah well we became friends at school in like 2017 do you think it was good timing yeah do you think timing really like do you think it was like affected yeah. who is it no I mean like do you think when we met was like the timing was like really mattered like did it change much timing wise for you like the there was a lot going in my on in my life and I had like not like no anyone to really like you know like so obviously was, no one really understood what I was going through because like that is the most rare thing to go yeah. through but. and I was still figuring out who my real friends mm. were yeah I remember that this particular year I struggled so much with feeling like I had friends and I've always said that to my mom like my mom's always said to me um like you do have friends like stop saying you don't mm. have friends and blah 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 and I knew I had people at school but I didn't think I had friends that like would go miles for me and stuff, you know? Yeah, go that extra length. Mm -hmm. I didn't know at the time that we were going to be like this. Neither. I like, don't even want it. <laughs> <laughs> we need the receipt for her. Take her back. <laughs> um, she's broken. <laughs> she's faulty. <laughs> and what do you think our lives would be like now if we hadn't met each other? Like. Genuinely, what do you think we'd be doing? I don't know, because I was really sad at one point in my life. Like, really sad at one point. Well, like, our friends? Yeah. So, I don't know. I really wanted to move schools at one point. Really? Yeah, end of 2017, because, like, all the shit that was going on. I feel like, um... I feel like... I don't actually know what I'd be doing, like, physically. But I feel like I would still mm. have the same problem. I feel like I wouldn't I feel know what really I wanted clueless. to do because you, like, you helped me with that. Like, even with, like, my job right now. Like, you're, you know, you're keeping me sane. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I'd physically be doing, but I feel like I'd still have the same, like, feeling or feeling like I had no friends and, like... Yeah. Because, like, you're really, like, my... My rock. That, that one. You're my bitch. Just... <laughs> What are some of your 2019 goals? Well, eat healthy. <laughs> I feel like that's everyone's goal though. Yeah. Like, no, but literally, what like, are I've some been, goals that you But my, like, fit, my fitness, like, wow. I really want to get back into, like, like, gymming and all that because I did that for a while and that made me feel really good, like, about myself, obviously it would, but, like, that's one of my goals. It's really cliche. Mm -hmm. Like, get fit yeah. again yeah. because I've kind of, like, gone off the rail. Yeah. Um, like, obviously start going into, like, the field that I want to go into for my career. So I'm studying marine biology. Mm -hmm. So I really want to, like, find a job that, like, involves, you know, being yeah. out there, you yeah. know. Yeah. Um, my 2019 I want to volunteer. Goal. I want to do a lot of volunteer work because I feel like I haven't... In 2019 or yeah, like this year? Like... That's what I want to do because I didn't get to do that last year. Yeah. Like, I want to volunteer at, like, Animal Welfare League, which is, like, mm -hmm. a rescue centre for animals. Yeah. And then I want to do, like, the beach cleanup. Like, I've been asked to do, like, a Byron beach cleanup. That's cool. And do a course in beauty. Yeah. Like, what a little Yeah, you've always yeah. wanted to do that. My, like, small 2019 goals are, like... So I wanted to get a tattoo by the end of 2019. That was one of my goals. I feel like that's everyone's goals because we're turning 18. But, like... I don't know, like, I'm not gonna get a tattoo just because you wanna get it. Like, yeah, I'll get something. something that's yeah, I'll yeah. get something because I like it, not because I set myself the goal. And, um, also, my goal is also to save. Travel. Yeah, save enough money to go traveling. So that's like a lifetime, like, lifelong goal yeah. that I'll always have. Um, and obviously, yeah, fitness and shit, like, just while I'm eating my whole tub of guacamole and shit. Mm. My, um, the 2019 small goal is to become more creative with my YouTube and like 
just incorporate different styles of stuff and like different like unique videos and like just be able to create better stuff like if you know what I mean like it's hard to explain what I actually really mean because it's so easy for people to say I want to make like and creative and stuff but like your yeah I just want to be able to be like have you seen Ivy's videos yeah be like, like not be spontaneous. I don't actually know the word. Um, I know there's you like know the words mean, on though. the tip of my tongue. Like, yeah. Like, you want to be unique. Yeah, I want someone to be like Ivy's videos, not like, oh, watch this chick. Like, she did, she did a QA and a as well. Or like, like, you know, yeah. like, what do you want to do in your lifetime? Your whole lifetime. Like, well, I want to own a house. I want to have investment properties because I want to be smart with my money. Mm -hmm. I want to learn how to be smart with my money. Mm -hmm. Um, I want to travel, obviously, like, travel as much as I can. Yeah. And then, like, I don't know, like, the general thing, like, have family. But just one child, because I couldn't deal with two. You want one? Yeah, I just want one. Because my dad only had one. I didn't even know that. What I want to do in my lifetime is, like, so, oh, like, a few years ago, I went to this Thailand elephant rescue nature park, and I didn't really, like, comprehend what I was doing there. Like, this whole nature park was, like, to rescue elephants and like um they had this whole open field full of all these animals and like we got to um hand feed them like bathe them we got to shovel their shit their moral was to like save them from like the whole elephant logging and like the abuse that they get from mm -hmm. riding like we weren't allowed to ride them there we weren't allowed to like you know do anything that would like intimidate them and I really like, I was so young that I didn't like realize what I was doing there. And I just like focused on the like activities that we were doing. Like no, mm. not like the bigger picture. And like we even did a whole march down Thailand like street about um, stopping the ivory trade. And I would love to go back and continue like that whole, um, you know, moral. To um, eventually create a swimwear, activewear, and general clothing for, swimwear. yes, mm. I want to create, even if I make massive changes for myself, like appearance wise, I still want to come out with like a label that um, caters for plus size people, because it just shits me up the wall how shit some people are with like their sizing, how like like, like influencers too. Like, yeah, and influencers have like all the power in the world to make stuff like that like become a, a real thing, mm -hmm. and they just don't do it. Like, why wouldn't you when you have such a massive platform? I just don't understand. So, like, that's something that I would love to do. Whether I'm like, what, no matter what I'm doing in my life, you know, a few a few years down the road or whatever. And where do you sort of see yourself in five years? In my own home. Five years. Wait, how old are we? 21. What if like, I in, like moved out? Moved out. Like not, I, maybe. I hope to see myself doing something creative because that's what I like. No, I hope that because like I can't, I, I don't think I'd ever be able to settle for a job that's 9 to 5 at a desk. No, I hate it. Like, like even that's now. That's just not my brain. My brain doesn't wire like that. You know what no, I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so I could never. I feel like I'd have to, like, I think I see myself doing something a little bit more, um, creative and a little bit more, like, personalised. Mm. I hope to do that. Or probably still studying something, maybe. I'd hope to move out by, I'm 20, by 21. We did what? That's the two. <laughs> what is our belief on the flat earth theory? It's a donut. It's actually shaped like a dinosaur. It's a cat. No, seriously, what do you actually think? Like, it is logically not humanly possible that it is flat. Explain the moon and what the do you shape. Mean? You know, like the the cycle of the moon. That's because that's because the sun, when when we're like positioned, that's why the moon it like drew, draws the shadow. Onto the moon. It's not flat, it's round. That's what gets me so pissed off. It's like people are so like stupid. Like we have she gets so fired off. We it. have literal <laughs> photos <laughs> of it. <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> there are photos of the earth. Like it's donut. I've said this a million times. Like, yeah, I get it's donut too, but donut. And that nut is the T sis. I believe donut. Yeah, but, or cat. It's just not skinny, you know. <coughs> We're not even going to speak about that anymore, right? Uh, do you have any other questions? Feel that I'm starving. I feel good. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Yeah, but it's like not even that. It's just kind of like. She's, it's in my first video, my very first video. Yeah, she does it when we're at the, the cafe. Window, yeah. And she's like. It's like when she concentrates on it. What's the habit I have? <laughs> no. She asks the most stupidest questions. That's her habit. Really? <laughs> she likes to not take my advice. But then who does? What's your advice? Like when you ask me about boys. I don't even know boys, so I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what's a boy? <laughs> my parents see each other three weeks. Fun fact. That's the taste is. Okay, we've like, got to go and cry because it's sad girl hour. Bye, my sad girls. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot. No, deal. That's, that's your bad habit. Like your, like what, what you always do. I do that math thing. You always do this. She does that all the fucking time. Even when she laughs, she's like, <laughs> can't stop. <laughs> she was like, a... we're going to bed because we're going to wet and wild tomorrow. <laughs> but yeah, <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> Do you want to sing one? No, oh, my boss. I'm going to hit my head like this. Thank you. Next. Wait. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry about all the different angles, but my cameras just kept cutting out and blah 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 blah. To some she needs a new camera, people. Thank you so much for watching my video again with this gem. Um, I don't really know any more video ideas, so let me know. Thank you. Um, my social media will be down below. Follow me on Instagram, Snapchat. I have Facebook, I have Twitter, Ivy Dance, everything's Ivy Dance, always Ivy Dance. Go follow it, subscribe, like. Obviously, I'll leave hers down below too. Just what's your Instagram? Taylor DeLuca. Is that it? Yeah. Taylor DeLuca on Instagram. I'll leave her social media down below as well. Um, but yeah, thank you so much. And hopefully, you guys just got like a little, like, I don't know. Some like entertainment, like I don't know. Hopefully, just satisfies uh, your needs. <laughs> Sorry, do that again. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, social media will be in the description in the description box. And yeah, thank you. See you next time. Bye. <laughs> She keeps me in the basement. <laughs>